Good afternoon. Excuse me, cold fingers and then from oh it's not actually that hilly and we're about to get blasted by a car. Oh no, it's a blooming big wagon, so you have to excuse the noise a minute. Welcome to Lapland. I've had a really lazy morning. It's the second day of my hollies. And I was out last night trying to shoot the Aurora. It didn't put on a particularly good show. I got one shot, nothing major, nothing to write home about. And it was minus 27. <laughs> hold on. Hey, there we go. These boys don't hold around on these roads, you know. Um, so I didn't stay out very long. I thought, oh, I've had enough of this. So today, fingers crossed, might be a little bit better. But today is mainly about coming out to see if we're going to get a sunset and have a look at the Nuragam Fell and this. How phenomenal is that? And it's where water's coming down off the fell and it just freezes solid. And I'd love to get closer, but I'm not that stupid. <laughs> I've come up onto the banking because there is no pavement along here. I'm sure there is a pavement. You just can't see it for snow. And it's for about a, I suppose, a two mile stretch. You can see it, bits and pieces there. And there's a piece as we drove around the corner that is the most vibrant aqua. But I just, there's just nowhere to stop. I mean, I parked about a mile down that way and walked back to this. I'm going to be coming back this way, so I might have a look then. I was hoping that the sun was going to be coming in on them, but it's not the right time of year. It just doesn't come round far enough. But it's more, I mean, it's not a startling image. It's just a to record how absolutely out of this world this place is. You can see we're having a bit of a blue sky day. Cloud has rolled in a little bit, but nothing major. Keep your fingers crossed for tonight, because you can never have too many Aurora images. But this, I quite like. Now I've kind of set up ooh, somewhere around there, that is a composition. So I've got the road coming in from the left, the falls or the ice falls on the right hand side. I'm shooting at f11, hundredth of a second, ISO 100. And I'm just, let me just get an image open and go onto the display. I'm not quite clipping the highlights. Oh, which is a very, as I said before, it's very easy to clip your highlights here. I saw another little piece slightly further back down the road, just a small one. This is quite tall. And the trees, I don't know if you can see at the top, there's bits of trees still growing out of the top of the ice flows. Well, my phone was getting confused because my phone's telling me it's quarter to two because it thinks I'm in Norway and Norway is an hour behind, I think, Finland. And in Finland, it's half past, it's quarter to three. I think that's right. Quarter to two. Yes, that's right. So I looked at my phone and thought, it's not half past one. It was two o'clock when I left the, the chalet. What a flipping fabulous road. And it is the main drag through to Nuragam and into Norway. And as you can see on the road, it's solid, compact snow. Wait for the car. Sit. Very dry here. If you can believe it, looking at the water coming off there, the atmosphere is very dry. It doesn't tend to get too slippery. All the cars have studded tyres. And the grip's phenomenal. The noise freaks me out, especially when I'm pulling into the chalets. It's like, it's like you're driving on polystyrene. Oh, the noise goes right through me. And that over there is a river. I can't remember which river it is. I should know. And it's frozen solid. And a little bit further up, not so much down this end, but further up I've seen um, skidoo tracks and ski tracks. As I can't see any down there, I don't think I'm going to bother trying to wander down. But you never know. The lights appeared 
And it makes a huge difference. Excuse me, I'm halfway up in banking. The difference it makes is tremendous. They really do glow. There's bits that are opaque. There's bits that are clear. The bits that have been, well, they've dropped because presumably because they're so heavy. But it's just the way they're following this one here particularly. It's just following the shape of the rocks down as the water's come off and it's just frozen as it's fallen. And I haven't got my gloves on because I was fiddling and now I wish I had. So I've just fired off a couple of images of this one. One including the road as it leads into the distance and one just straight down them starting with this curved part. The slight issue is the shadows. You can see I've got the shadow of the tripod. I think I've managed to get away with it. There might just be a minuscule bit of cloning. And um, for the life of me, I can't remember what settings I'm supposed to be on. Wee! Oh! I'm <laughs> so careful where I stand. We're at F9, 1 125th of a second. I'm just right on the edge with the histogram. I could probably push it a little bit further. Oh, I've got to get down and get out of the way. Yeah, that's still... Oh, that's just clipping. So, yeah. 1 125th was just right. 1 100th was... 1 100th was just too much. But the difference the light makes... Oh, and I've just come back to the car after wandering up and down this road. I thought, all right, fancy a drink. And I'd got a smoothie from the airport. It's frozen. It's turned into a slush puppy. God's sakes. And it's only about minus 12. don't mind telling you I was twitching a little bit coming up that road what a fantastic view I did a pano when we were up here last time and there's a few bits and pieces that I would really like to go out and photograph the Sun is setting oh where is she just over there some beautiful color coming up just there my hands are about to fall off Jesus it's cold Oh, that wind. It's not too much of wind, just a little bit. So I'm not going to hang around for too long. But there's a couple of things that I think I'd like to photograph. I'm not sure I'm going to get there because I don't know how deep the snow is. But I'm going to give it a go. This is Nurgam Fell. And it is breathtaking. We're getting that alpine glow that you get in the evenings. Oh, excuse me. Oh, <laughs> put my shirt up. Oh, right, I'm not going to hang around. I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to go off and see what we can come up with.
sky is lighting up tremendously. You can probably see from the glow on my face. And I'm going, oh my God, oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I've opted for, first of all, this, and now I've no idea if I'm stood on a lake because the bits of it sound hollow. I've got this tree in the foreground and I'm shooting at f2.8 just to make this stand out. Then I've got that bunch of three and that little bunch of three also in frame. And I think that works quite nicely. I've popped on a 0.6 grad just to lower the brightness in the sky. I really like that. I just need to tweak it a smidge. That's it. Oh, and make it level. Look at this sky. That's marvellous. Marvellous. Oh, bloody hell. And I'm now going to run around like a complete idiot because I need to get some other compositions with that in. And I'm just going to sit with the 17 to 55. I'm going to probably keep it at f2.8 and I'm around about a 60th of a second. Ah, oh, just watching this is phenomenal. Oh.